Hello. With Flutter 1.9, the Flutter web has been merged to the main Flutter repository. So now we can create Flutter web projects with same old projects or we can even enable Flutter web on our existing projects. Hello. Welcome to React Pets. Together, we will learn to develop modern, robust and beautiful applications. In this tutorial, we are going to look into how we can create a Flutter web project and run it in Google Chrome with Flutter web Flutter 1.9. The first thing, very first thing you need to do is switch to master channel. Flutter channel master. Next thing you can, you should do is run Flutter doctor. So what this will do is, if you have just switched to the master channel for the first time, it will download the required dependencies. Okay, so no issues found. Also, if this is the first time you are switching to master channel, what you need to do is, you need to enable web. We can do that by using flutter config dash dash enable web. Now, we are ready to create our first flutter project together with web support. So, let's create our project. Flutter create web test. This should create our project with web support enabled by default. So we can see that by opening the project in our Visual Studio code. We can see that there is now new web folder with index.html in it. And in order to run this project, we can simply do flutter run dash d chrome. This should build our project and run on the web. So it's taking some time to build the application. Well, it has successfully built and it's running. Let me just make this smaller. Yeah, so let's try changing some value and see the hot reload in action. Let's say I want to change this text. You have pushed the button this many times on the web preview and we need to press R to perform hot restart. So you have pushed the button this many times in the web preview. This is how we can target our existing applications or create a new applications in Flutter with web support by default. 